Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. First and foremost, uh, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. Okay, our visitors, I believe we have a number of visitors tonight. Can we have the visitors upstanding, please? Okay, so we'll get a microphone if we could over to the visitors, please, for the benefit of those at home. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there'll be no singing involved otherwise someone might ask me to sing now all we need to know is, is your names and most importantly what you drive Jill and David Brooks and we've got a 76 I think cruiser yes <laughs> the 76 cruiser welcome uh, do we have any other uh, visitors in the room Go on, be upstanding. Let's get a microphone over to him. Hello. Good evening, all. Rodney and my partner, Anna. And we've got a 200 series. 200 series, everybody. Welcome to the Land Cruiser Club. So we've got, we got one more, have we? No worries. Hey, guys, I'm Paul, and I've got a 105 series. 105. Round of applause for the solid axle vehicles. There we go. We've got one more down the back. Are we sorry? Sorry, Mr. President. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Mark. Um, I joined the club in October last year. Uh, I drive a 150 series. I'm here tonight. First meeting with my young daughter, uh, Sarah. So happy to be here. Thank you. Welcome. Prado. Beautiful. Well done. You're in good company with the Prados. There are lots and lots of Prados in the club. Okay. So uh, we got one more. Yeah, Anthony and Caroline, my new bride. And we drive a 76. No, this is another for solid axle. Well done. Okay. Uh, any final uh, visitors? No worries. Okay, maybe on. Uh, President's report. Now, whilst everyone has been uh, diligently eating in excess, possibly tippling in excess, the committee has been hard at work, let me assure you. Okay, so a couple of little bits and pieces. Um, we've got a few things going on in the background. But uh, bush stands, bush stands is coming up. We need to get posteriors in seats for the bush stands. So if you're thinking about the bush stands, um, by all means, uh, don't hesitate. Go out there and get a ticket. We, we've, we've got a good supply of people coming in, but we need more to make sure we, uh, we can pull this one off. So uh, Grace, Grace assures me it's filling up fast. So uh, don't, don't, be, uh, don't be lazy and get in there and get your ticket. Okay, so... Um, Along with that, um, also we got the Geelong meet, uh, the Geelong show coming up. Uh, I believe we have a full volunteer of rosters. Uh, thanks, Sandra, for that one, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but uh, I mean, if you're down in Geelong Way, by all means, slide on past and uh, see, see what we're up to down there, and uh, yeah, enjoy the festivities if you're down Geelong Way. Geelong Way always overrepresents. As far as new members are concerned, uh, the guys uh, and girls down in Geelong do an uh, absolutely fantastic job. Um, they usually go on uh, the number of new memberships they, they get at the Geelong show uh, approaches the numbers we get at the Melbourne show. And of course, there's three times as many people through the door at the Melbourne show. Okay. Now we will be addressing um, more to do with the raffle, the um, benefit from the RFDS. I believe we got a thank you from the RFDS as well, the Royal Flying Doctor Service. We raised, and Ian may be able to correct me here, I believe it was approaching $800 last month, wasn't it? $800, ladies and gentlemen, from the uh, for the RFDS, thanks to the uh, the meeting last, last month in December. So that's absolutely fantastic. And well done for all those who uh, bought tickets. And congratulations to the winners. And to differentiate a little bit, that we, the club actually usually purchases the uh, the, the gear and then uh, that's offset by by the, the purchase of the tickets. This time, everything went into the kitty for the RFDS. So thank you and fantastic. Okay, so coming up, we have a, a video. We're ready to go with the video, guys? No worries. All right, so the video coming up is uh, the Big Desert State Forest Recce, September 2022. 20, uh, uh, the triple is Brian and Rita, and the video was edited by Steve McAdam. Uh, take it away, gentlemen. Thank you.
that's all right. I'll jump in now. This is the crew cap, five miles. So this track is marked as easy, yet yeah, we're going to have to start winching people up this last bit. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Yeah, you gotta do it. Both. Oh, look, they're not gonna fall down. This car's moving. Stop, stop, stop. Have we anchored that car up? Is that car anchored up? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you need to. It's not, it's being pulled over. Yeah. I am an island. I am an ifness. I come from Benina. I don't believe in Christmas. Look out, oh sinister holy man. Look out, oh righteous boss. I make my own decisions now. Today, today I laugh. I joke. <laughs> I ch 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 But tomorrow, tomorrow, I go to Philip Island. <laughs> well done. Probably getting another hundred metres down the road to be another tree. <laughs> Well, we wanted some action today. Well, thank you. Let's get around here. Sometimes you need to go. You're right, keep going right. Yeah, you're right. All right, how easy. Cruising. Yeah, the boy knows it. Oh yeah, get out the way. <laughs> In the great outdoors, forever free.
Thanks again to Brian and Rita for running the trip and Stephen McAdam for editing it up. All right, so we're moving on. So uh, next one is a driver training, Chris Treble. G'day, Chris. Simon, how are you? Happy New Year, mate, and uh, Merry Christmas. Same to everyone. Sorry, I can't beat it. Uh, gearing up for a very uh, busy year this year. Um, um, I've been busy, very busy over the weekend. Um, every member from last year that we haven't caught up with, um, everyone's got an email. So the new um, process is in place whereby um, I'm looking for their vehicles to be 100% up to scratch before we book in. Um, February is booked out. And I, uh, March, the month of March, I'm halfway through it. Um, it's filling up very quickly. So it's um, interesting. So, so the members out there that have got the emails from me, as soon as you get your vehicle up to standard, um, give me a ring and I'll put you in on the first course, regardless of when you've joined, if your vehicle's ready to go, you can come through the gate. There's a whole mixture of people. Um, in total, I think there's about seven, 15 people that haven't completed their DA last year. So unfortunately, they've got to redo. They've got to do the theory part and they'll do the other part. I've sent them special emails about it, which um, is okay as far as I know. But um, three months is a period of time if you haven't done your um, completed your practical part. You'll, you'll, a lot of people, they forget what was taken in the theory. That's why I'm adamant that you need, we're all adamant that you need to do your your practical um, and your theory, you need to do it in one month so it's concurrent, so that it's fresh in your mind. But um, yeah, good results so far. So February's, February's done, March is halfway through. So um, I'm ready on the phone if people want to ring me. And we uh, commence back um, at um, the Mulgrave Country Club on the 14th when we start the, the year with the, um, the theory session up at Mulgrave on the 14th. That's about it, Simon, I think. Otherwise. Goody, thanks very much. Is there any uh, questions, Chris, in regard to DA? No worries. All right, thanks very much, mate. And uh, on that, I'll see you around the campfire before long. <laughs> hope so. <laughs> thanks, no All right, thank you. All right, so moving on from there, uh, education with Liz Mills. Um, happy New Year to everybody tonight. Lovely to see everybody here. And welcome to all the new members. It's great to see you. So keep on coming. Um, CPR. 11th of March, um, that will run between 10 and 1. It's just for the first three hours, $65. There's still a few places um, free. I think we've got seven booked for that. So there's still space for a few more to do the CPR. Should be done every year to keep yourself up to date. First aid um, is the same weekend, February, Saturday, the 11th and the Sunday, the 12th, $155. Um, you will need to pay the full amount uh, by the 29th of January so that we can let James know who is going, the numbers, um, because he will be sending you um, an online learning component, which will take three to four hours. You have to do that before you do the um, weekend at Yark. We've got 13 places already booked for that. So if you want to be in that, please get onto it fairly soon. March 18th um, and Sunday the 19th, Bush Mechanics with Brad Schaefer. We are fully booked. He's got about 19 on the waiting list at the moment. So I'm hoping that I can get him to do another one a little bit later on because it's obviously quite popular. That same weekend, we have um, trip catering and camp cooking. There are only four places available at this stage. It's a very casual, fun weekend, um, just getting a bit more confidence on how to cook over hot coals when you're camping. And um, we'll go through uh, things like making lists and the type of equipment you can use and things beforehand before we start the actually the camp cooking. And you can bring up what you like to cook. You can do a cake, scones, whatever you feel like doing. And we'll go through the processes of using um, hot coals. And then on the Sunday morning, we have a camp cook-off and a bit of a competition. And there might be a couple of prizes available that weekend. Um, now, HEMA mapping. I finally got Justin to get back to me. I was trying to change the HEMA mapping course till June but he's actually away um, in Brisbane in June. So we're gonna to have to still run it um, the second weekend in May. The reason I was going to change it was because it's actually Mother's Day weekend. 
Now, most of what he does generally is on the Saturday. So if you really want to come, don't be afraid to book in for it. And if you feel the need to be back with wife, mother, whoever on the Sunday, you could probably leave the Saturday night or the Sunday morning and still have your Mother's Day weekend. So I'll get that on for you to book into very shortly. Um, extra courses will come up along the way. Chainsaw course, obviously, we'll get another one of those booked later in the year. Um, now, the other thing, we were trying to organise a way station um, perhaps at Yark, but it's not suitable. So what we've decided to do now is um, Dion from Waste Station is going to come to the meeting next February. He will give you a talk about what he does in weighing your caravans, cars, boats, to make sure that you are legal for your weight that you are carrying on the road. Um, so he'll tell you all about what he does and you'll get a proper certificate from that. Um, I'm not sure whether he's going to be bringing equipment to take out in the car park outside. I'm not sure whether that will happen, but what you can do is you can talk to him one-on-one -on -one, uh, during the evening and he can explain to you exactly what he does, if you've got any questions, and if you want to book in with him to suit you, um, you can organise that that night. So come along on the February meeting. Um, He'll be quite interesting to listen to about what Waste Station is all about. So at the moment, that's about it. So um, I'll see you next month. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you, Liz, for that. Uh, next is uh, Trips. Very important part of the club with uh, Viv. Can we have Viv on the screen, please, gents. Welcome, Viv, and uh, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you all. Thank you all for coming. And um, I'm sorry I'm not there, but I've got a previous um, activity here at home. So uh, I'm joining you on the Zoom. At the moment, we've got four trips with vacancies. We've got Sunset at Craig's Hut, which is a night drive and a mystery night drive being run by Sharon and Andy on the 26th through to the 29th of January. We've got a Wandilly Gong State Forest uh, recce that Pierce Thompson's running in, um, um, he's doing that because he's gonna run the same trip for the 50th birthday. That's on the 26th and 25th of February. And we've got the tour to 50th, which Marcus is running and he's heading off on the 19th to the 24th of March, arriving and finishing at Mount Beauty in time for the 50th birthday. And we've got the Grand Tour of Western Australia, 19th of May to 13th of August with Colin Hardy. So they're all in the magazines and they're all on the website. So if you feel like going or you want to join in, just go on to those um, sites and book. I am sending out an urgent SOS to all our current trip leaders. We are desperate for trips for the members and it would be great if some could get listed. We've got a lot of trip leaders, and if they all put in just one trip, we'd pretty well fill up the whole year. I want to thank those who have already put up the trips. I appreciate it, and I know the members do too. We're currently in the middle of running a trip leader course. We've had five members join us, and I know they're keen to get out in the tracks and take some members with them. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Really, thanks very much, Viv. Okay, so moving on from that, the uh, the national gathering with uh, John Mills. We'll get uh, John up here. Welcome, John. <laughs> Good evening. Happy New Year to you all. Um, not much to report because of the, uh, the period over Christmas. We have visited quite a few caravan parks in the Mansfield area. Um, we, I have sort of a um, penciled in one. We're trying to get some more details from them. Um, we don't have our first meeting until Thursday this week, so we so we'll try and sort out it and make some commitments to where we're going to go. So next month, hopefully, we'll better report to the committee what we want to do, and um, and suit with some rough costings of what we're going to what the, it's going to cost us to go where we really think we're going to go. So we're still wide open for suggestions, right? It's um, it's early gut days. This group we've got together at the moment are only doing the pre-planning, finding a site, working out the logistics and the feasibility of that. 
After that, we'll be looking for all the help we can get to form subcommittees to make the thing run. So if you've got any ideas at all, um, you can come and see me. Uh, you can see any of the other members on there. Pete Birchall's a member of the, who's here tonight. Um, I think that's about it at the moment here tonight. But any of those that, that we put their hand up last week and said that they were last month said they were part of it, you can give them a ring or you can give me a call and let me know uh, an idea. Any idea will do. We'll just put them aside and we'll work them in if they're going to fit into the program. So it is your gathering. So it's up to you to make a go of it. Okay. Thank you. I believe Brian Stewart is on a well earned rest at the moment. And in his place, we have uh, Gary Cooper. We'll come over and say a few words. Ah, oh, there we are, Gary. <laughs> okay. Good evening, all. Now, look. Um, I was going to get uh, Simon stand in front of me because he's got the beard. I don't, and we could do a bit of limp singing, like you know, you could, <laughs> I could talk, you could move your mouth, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or could I have a lend me beard? Well, it's, it has to come back. Yeah. Okay. Like, right. <laughs> Okay, but like, tell you what, if uh, Brian didn't have a beard, he'd probably look like me. You think? What do you reckon? <laughs> 100%. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Brian's at uh, Violet Town at the moment, uh, probably helping some of the locals up there do a bit of a few projects. So uh, he's given me the, the duty of reporting from Yark. Now, who's been up to Yark since uh, I was there last in December? Who's been up there? Yep, so what's it look like? Pretty good? Looks good. Yep. What about the grass length? Yep. Yep. All right. Yep. Yes. So that's going to be uh, the big project for next weekend. So that's our next uh, maintenance and construction weekend. Uh, it'll be primarily mowing the grass and also um, thistle spraying because uh, I believe we didn't sort of get that done in November last year, but we're going to attack it this uh, weekend. Uh, now, I had uh, the task of ringing the CFA guys about coming up to Yark to uh, test all the uh, extinguishers we've got up there. So he couldn't make it for January, but he's coming up in February. Now, what sometimes happens, if you've got an extinguisher in your car, uh, they will test it for you. I know you can look at the gauge and all that sort of stuff, but that doesn't always tell you the full story. So if you, you want to uh, come up to Yark on that uh, weekend when maintenance is on in February, I'm sure the CFA guys will have a look at your extinguishers for you to make sure they're in operable condition, which is a good idea. Uh, now, the other thing we're involved with, uh, heavily involved with at the moment, and Sandra Weller mentioned it before about the trying to control the tea tree or the bergen up on the property. Um, Colin Lowe, who uh, a past member, he documented uh, the tea tree up at uh, the property and we've got about 30 acres of the rotten stuff. Uh, now we've got to do something about it because it's encroaching on tracks, a huge fire problem that the tea tree is worse than gum trees. Uh, now this report that we've got from the land care guy we talked about that at the last Yark Maintenance Weekend or we, uh, night, the, me the meeting we had. And the, uh, the program has been given to the committee to vote on. Now, we're pretty sure they're going to say yes to all of it. So when we get that approval from the committee, we've got to get stuck into it. So it's going to be a huge job to control this Bergen that's up there. It's just gone crazy. Like last season, the growing season was enormous, I suppose. Even in your own homes, you were almost cutting the grass once a week, probably twice a week. Well, up there, everything's just gone berserk. So it's going to be a big job. It's going to be a slow job, and it's going to be labour intensive. So we'll need plenty of hands on deck to do that. It's going to take us quite a while to do it. So uh, we'd like to see you as many as you can up at the property next weekend for uh, maintenance and construction weekend. I'm sure Brian will be there. Uh, it wouldn't be the same without him. So uh, we'd love to see as many as you can to come up. Uh, that's about it. Any any questions about the property? No? Right, okay. Really? Thank, Thank you very much. I'll give you the feedback. Thanks. Thanks very much, Gary. Okay, so uh, moving, moving on from uh, Yark, uh, on to socials. And uh, I believe Grace is with us tonight, so I'll get Grace to run up here. 
Hi, everyone. Okay, so um, as you all know, we've got the bush dance coming up in about four or five weeks. So I'm just trying to sell it a bit more to you today. Um, so first, I want to thank everyone that registered already. Um, it's on the 25th of February. Um, promises to be a real amazing night. We've got a band booked in. Um, it's called the Blackberry Jam Bush, Bush Band. Um, they've been in the business for a very long time and um, they're renowned for their fun, lively and entertaining dances. Um, I do have on the website that we're going to provide uh, finger food, but I'm just hoping as we get more numbers that we're going to do a nice big barbecue, salads, all of that. So obviously it just depends on numbers and um, whether we have got enough money to go around to do all of it, but um, it's looking promising at the moment. Um, also, I'd like to say that it is family friendly. So if you've got grandchildren or children and they like to come and join us for the night, they're more than welcome. Um, 13 and under are free. And um, by the way, the, it's only $30 actually, which is really, I think it's a very, very good value for the entertainment that we're gonna get on the night. Um, also, it happens to be on the weekend of the maintenance and construction weekend, so you can just come up and join in uh, helping uh, during the day and then um, have a lovely night dancing and having a good time. So if you're interested, uh, please go on the website, book your spots, and um, if you have any questions, I'm right there. Um, you can come and ask me, or if you have any questions for me, I'd be happy to answer. And um, I will let you know, hopefully next month, what we are organizing for the following um, session. So that's it. The ladies are doing an absolutely fantastic job and it's a real, real credit to them. They've um, really picked up the ball and run with it. And a fantastic job, both Helen and Grace. And their ever enduring husbands, uh, Eric, Eric and Gabby, of course. No worries. All right. Uh, speaking speaking of uh, Eric and Gary, Eric's actually uh, an apology tonight. He tells me he has friends over from Italy. So we scratch him. <laughs> but no doubt we'll hear all about four wheel drive Victoria coming up soon. Now, before we do that, though, uh, special events with Sandra Tanner. I'd like to welcome uh, Sandra. Happy New Year, mate. And uh, I, I'm sure you had a Merry Christmas. Good evening, everybody, and Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, I won't go through Geelong because um, Simon's done that. So you know that we've got a full roster, which is wonderful. All we need to do now is sign up lots of new members. Um, the 50th anniversary is going very well. We have a lot of people that have registered. Um, you've still got time, but the registrations are going to close at the end of February. So if you intend coming, we'd like you to register as soon as possible, please. Um, right. If you wish to purchase any garments, we've got the 50th anniversary garments over there with Angela. She's holding one up. They're not expensive. They're quite reasonably priced, and they've got a, a logo, 50th anniversary logo on them. So if you're interested, there's a rugby top, there's a T-shirt, and there's a polo top. And they look pretty good. Sorry? Good quality, I've been told. So we'd love to see as many people as possible. It is, it is growing. We've got a good number now, but there's still some room. But uh, get in early because uh, the caravan park is filling, not only with our members, but um, their regulars as well. So we want, to, we want to beat them to it. Thank you. Thanks very much, Sandra. And I'll, I'll be seeing you guys soon, and I'll better place my order tonight before I miss out. <laughs> okay. All righty then. Um, now, as I said, Eric is, a, is an apology um, and we'll hold over any outstanding issues. So I don't think four-wheel drive Victoria have met over the Christmas period. So uh, um, he'll probably be saving it up for next for next um, month. Okay. All right, we'll move on now to the webmaster portfolio. And I think we'll have uh, Laurie on Zoom. Uh, I don't think Laurie can make it. Uh, okay, so I'll hand you over to Mike. Yep, fine, I'll stand up there. Yes, thanks. Uh, Laurie's, um, uh, he had a medical procedure today, so unfortunately he's not available. 
Um, so we've had to sort of try and make do without Laurie. Um, and I'd just like to thank Eugene. Eugene, look this way. For stepping in and helping out. Uh, so he's handling all the audio. Uh, Rob Lavishaw also was away. So we were down a few men in the team. And um, David McAllister is at home and he's basically helped hosting as well. Um, so anything really, I think, as per normal for the webmaster, if you have any issues with the website or anything to do with any of the IT stuff, just send an email or ring Laurie in the first instance, and he's more than willing to help try and work through any idiosyncrasies that you may experience. Uh, if there's any other questions, hang on. Uh, we've got a question, microphone, good. I hope it's turned on. Um, I spoke with Laurie during the week in regards to the possibility of putting a, um, a search button onto our website. Yep. Um, and he, we spoke and I, he said, what do I need? And I said, a I, quick icon for the calendar. So with the calendar, you just now can click onto it. And then if you find something at a certain date that you want to find out, such as whether there's a DA on at Yark on the weekend, so you know whether you can drop in or not, you can click on that and it will allow you to book in or not book in. So he, 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 he jumped, got in and fixed the problem. Okay. No, so good on him. So, so it's good. Up so it's it. up and running? Yes. Fantastic. No, good. good on him. Tough. So so there you go. Um, a quick response. So you just need to raise it. So rather than sort of, you know, sort of um and ah about it and uh, it's better to just go straight to the source because Laurie's pretty good like that. He'll get onto things. Any other questions for the webmaster? No? Okay. All good. <laughs> yes, for sure. Thank you. Beauty. Thanks, Mike. Uh, yes, and of course, a speedy recovery to Laurie. He'll be back on the phone soon. And it's great to see he's being responsive to uh, members' requests. Uh, when we can get it done quickly, he's uh, he's usually on the ball and uh, he, he gets it uh, done and knocked out in uh, record time. So that's, that's fantastic between him and the team. And uh, thanks to Mike tonight for uh, running it all, getting it, getting it all uh, broadcast. There's no mean feat getting broadcasts out to Zoom and Facebook simultaneously. All righty then. Now, ladies and gents, um, a quick question. So it was uh, it was posed uh, over the committee, uh, considering how how much of a fantastic resp response we had to not only the prizes uh, but to Viv and Baz's uh, cake and the Stitch and Bitch Group's contribution towards the last the last raffle. Is it too late to buy raffle tickets, Ian? No, no, it's not. No, you can go over there and still buy raffle tickets. You, you might be taking a booking of them as, as we speak. So it was discussed amongst amongst the group to uh, whether we should make it an annual event so that the the proceeds of the December meeting, as uh, December meetings raffle, go directly to the RFDS and make that an make that an annual thing. I know we've got we've uh, started doing it at a couple of years running. But we want to make we'll think about making an annual event. But of course, we need to take it to the membership. So um, what the guys have done, I, I assume, yes, lots of nods there, beautiful. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put a poll on Zoom and we're going to uh, a show of hands in the room. So what will happen is um there'll be the, obviously the, the great contribution of the cake from Vivian, no doubt, and uh, the Stitching Bitch group uh, as well. And there will be uh, other contributions from, from the club purchased uh, by our main raffle man over there, Ian Ross. But all the all the ticket sales directly will go to the RFDS. So that, that's what we're posing to the membership tonight. Um, probably in the room would be great if we just did a show of hands. How are we looking with the uh, poll there, gents? Uh, unfortunately, uh, David's just lost power where they are, and his oh. DNA's dropped out. <laughs> okay. So I'm just on the phone to see David. No, that's all right. Well, I mean, we, we actually got a, a quite a, quite a decent number of people in the room, so we'll we'll go for a bit of a, a show in hands. So, firstly, um, it's just an, ex, an expression of, of uh, whether whether you want this to happen, to, so we can make it a an annual event. Uh, those who'd like to, the proceeds of the December meeting go to the RFDS. Can we have a raise of hands, please? Yep. No worries. All right. Thank you. Uh, are any anyone uh, against? Uh, no. And anyone abstaining? For any reason, no worries. All right, so it looks like our vast majority wants, so we got a good indication there. Thank you for all those who participated. Pity we couldn't get the uh, 
the Zoom up and running. But if you are listening on Zoom or Facebook and you want to have a contribution towards that um, and you want to have your say, by all means, uh, send, in a, send in an email and we'll certainly address it. That, that brings okay. us to the conclusion of our agenda. Um, I'd like to say thank you. It was a fantastic turnout for a January meeting. I know the January meetings, it's hard to get to because uh, you got a lot of family commitments and whatnot. And, um, and uh, mate, you, you're turning up late. You, have you got your late pass there, Brian? <laughs> no? <laughs> Just uh, submit your late pass to your good lady wife there. Okay, so it's great to see lots of smiling faces, a few faces that I haven't seen for a few months turning up to the January meeting. Now, the next meeting will be the February the 21st. Um, be there or be square. Thank you all for your attention tonight. And we hope to see you all next month. Thank you.